Okay, we're ready. One, two, three, go. I have to wait for it to ripe, but I think that was ridiculous. <laughs> These shots are stupid, man. This looks so freaking <laughs> fake. <laughs> Look at that. What? We're here, this is the demo part of my workshop. And when I put this up on YouTube, people always ask, oh, well, I wouldn't want to go to one of Jason's workshops just to watch him shoot. My uh, photographers here, my attendees will tell you, I shoot very little at the workshops. In fact, I started not shooting at the workshops just so I could teach. And then people started saying, hey, we really would love to see at least a little section of you shooting. It's also a great way for the photographers here to get a chance to uh, learn how to use the other gear, the lights, the reflectors, the diffusers, everything that I teach at the workshops is an opportunity for them to be able to do that. So this is just a small snippet. It represents maybe 10% of what we do at a workshop, but it helps them to see it and helps to crystallize things for them so they can go out and do it on their own. Miss Emily will be assisting me today. You ready? Ready. You sure? Yeah. You need your glasses on though. I had to find them in the leaves. Really? Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad she didn't lose those. Um, also, another benefit of doing the workshops is we have people who bring all these lenses and I get to try them out. So uh, we're gonna try the Canon 300 millimeter 2.8. Uh, Sony, if you're watching this, yes, we would love a 300 millimeter 2.8. Uh, I'm gonna shoot with that. I'm shooting with the Metabones Mark V, Mark Cinco today. You ready to do this? Yeah. High fives. All right, go grab the violin. Yeah. Fantastic. Main thing to remember when you guys are shooting with a longer lens, you hold, don't hold it by this. That's too much weight on the mount. Okay, what you want to do is hold it by the neck of the, the lens. What I'm going to do first if I'm shooting with a long lens is I'm going to actually kind of uh, space out where I want her from a distance perspective. So, Veronica, can I have you go over there for me, please? Is the light turned on? Perfect. Thank you. Yep, we're going to take it higher up and then angle it down. Bring that, bring this, the, the bow back. Put it across the back of your neck. There you go, more attitude. There you go, spread the feet out just a little wider. Don't move, one, two, three. Can you crouch down like me? Love it, oh that's fantastic. Keep everything the same, but bring, keep your elbow on your knee, but bring the bow back now, behind, there you go, beautiful, one, Two, three. Look right at me. You guys are gonna collect leaves and throw them behind her. You're not gonna throw like this, it's a downward trajectory. We want them up so they filter and fall down. Now for this, I'm gonna lock my focus in and then I'm gonna do a continuous shutter. And you're looking up and laughing. Two, three, blow. And now you're going to pick up leaves and throw them yourself. You need to hold it, but then you need to hold your hands up as you're looking at the leaves. One, two, three, go. So I shot those at 2 50th of a second F2 weight ISO 100. I don't know if anyone in the world has ever tried to do a headshot with a 300 millimeter with an eye lighter. So I want to try that. I flipped it, flipped it twice with the camera. <laughs> do we, have, we don't have another light anywhere, do we? Actually, let's rim light her. Go back behind her. Okay. Leave the honeycomb on it. That'll actually control the light. Go behind her and then angle it up towards her. No, 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 go, to, go behind her. You're at, yeah, now drop down. Perfect. And uh, Veronica, cross your arms, hon. Their attitude, give me attitude, sister. Spread your feet out. There you go, wider. You guys notice I'm posing her feet even though it's an eyeliner shot. One, two, three. Wow. 
Pose. What's the what's the back light on, Daddy Warbucks? Four. Four. Turn it to an eighth. It's only fired like once every fourth shot. Okay. Take the honeycomb. Yeah, take the honeycomb off, so you can add more light. Perfect. All right, here we go. One, two, three, go. Wow. Oh, wow, look at the sand. Yeah, the sand, it's the sand. The oh sand from the backlight. Oh, damn. The sand, the sand from the backlight on that shot is ridiculous. This time pick oh, wow. one last one, but this time pick up more sand. Now I am manually focusing these shots. And I'm using the focus peaking. Hold on to the, uh, hold on to your hat now. Bring your hands out, still hold on to it, but then go like this with your hand. Ooh, I love that. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three, go. I have to wait for it to write, but I think that was ridiculous. These shots are stupid, man. This looks so freaking fake. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, seriously, these shots are ridiculous. Oh, give me sexy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Take it off, take it off. You guys are awesome. That was hilarious. Will you be able to share that with us? Absolutely. So what were your takeaways from that? Process of setting up a shot. What else? Controlling your ambient or surroundings. Controlling your surroundings, right? As I mentioned in, in all of our discussions, was I rushed? No. Was it just took, took my time, easy pace? And how many locations did I shoot? Two. Two, right? Now, granted, this was a more difficult shoot because it's a 300. Just to even be able to fit her in the frame was, was a, a trial at times. So, come here, sister. <laughs> Thank you. I learned how to balance the light and that you don't need a lot of equipment to get great pictures. That's very true. That's very true. In fact, one thing I, I tell photographers all the time is they overdo it. There's too much gear, there's too much. And one thing I tell my workshop groups and I tell you guys at home as well is, um, I watch photographers all the time. They'll go out and they'll set up three light stands and this light and that light and this. And I'm, it's like, wow, you don't even need it. Sometimes it's fun to pull out all that stuff, but only if you need it. So today we definitely used the, uh, a diffuser and we used the light, but that was really all we needed. And we just used the diffuser just to cut light. Right, right. right. just to keep the shadows, not dappled light. Yeah, we didn't want the dappled light because, again, a lot, of, a lot of photographers, they this thing about overpowering the sun, it's just it's so overdone in our industry, the phrase itself. And uh, you're not trying to overpower the sun, you're trying to get great light. So I don't care if you're using LED strobe, whatever it is, the, the key isn't overpowering the sun, the key is getting great lighting. Hey, Jason, you're a great man. Thank you. Have a great soy sure makes everybody comfortable. Thank you're, you. You're a great instructor. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. This is my drug dealer. Come on in. Not really. He's never done any drugs his whole life. He's just from Jamaica, so I asked him if he had any weed. Yeah, I did. Not for me. Oh, you do have weed? No, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some love. Oh, he... He, <laughs> he just grabbed my butt. Did you ever think you'd be in one of my videos? No. Are you happy? Yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the way we roll here in Texas. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice and smooth. I asked him if he had any weed for the models because you know photographers we don't do weed. It's just the models. But yeah, the models like to get high. <laughs> See, that's the difference with my workshops. We actually get out and really have fun with each other. So, Miss Veronica, why don't you tell them where they can find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. My um, username is Macaroni M A C A N O I I. Oh, that's a lot of eyes. Yeah, three eyes. Because macaroni one eye was taken, so. What does macaroni mean? Macaroon? My nickname is Nori. 
macaroni. And so I try to find something cute, so I like combine or like macaroni. macaroni and then I put like noni, mm. so macaroni. So if my favorite food is pizza, I should call myself Jitsa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> how, how many of my videos have you watched? Every single one. <laughs> Perfect, then you should know this. So, so uh, until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams, and you only have one chance to get it right. Find the right gear that works for you. Find the right gear that works for you. And remember. And remember. What do we say, Emmy? You only have one chance to get it right. You only have one chance to get it right. Talk, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Say adios, pimps and hoes. Adios, pimps and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, Patty. Thank you. Oh, hey, you guys still there? Hello? Talking to you. Really, you're still there? That's awesome, guys, thanks. If you wanna continue this learning online, go to patreon.com slash photography, and you can learn alongside me. You can watch my screens, you can edit with me, do all of it from anywhere in the world on any computer, guys. It's the best way to learn if you can't make it to a workshop. If you're crazy and you want to see me in person and you're ready for it, then go to www.jasonlinear.com slash register. You can find a workshop near you and we will have an absolute blast together. It's about inspiration. It's about photography. It's about life and it's about finding the passion in all of them. So again, guys, if you want to learn online, if you can't make it to a, something in person, patreon.com slash jasonlinear photography. And if you want to learn in person, jasonlinear.com slash register now the last time i did this let me see i'll just do it with my finger this time <laughs> i love doing that it just pisses off the pros i'll talk to you guys later peace